All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on my uh, <clears throat> radio tutorial here. Uh, normally I wouldn't do this, but uh, I'm sure there's some of you out there who haven't worked with any kind of audio programs before. So I know that I left that out in my last tutorial. I kind of assumed that you knew <clears throat> how to get your waves in the proper format. Well, this program right here is called uh, Adobe Audition. There's other versions of it uh, before Adobe bought it called uh, Cool Edit Pro by Centrillium Labs. Uh, it's not the best audio editor there is, obviously, but um, radio stations use it a lot. Uh, I remember when I used to work at radio station, this was the bundled software that the radio would license from from uh, Centrillium and Adobe so you know it's good enough for what you're going to use it for and what we're going to use it for today since we're making a radio station is we're going to be converting sample types so it uh, doesn't matter what format your uh, music is in it could be in uh, mp3, WAV, AAC, FLAC, whatever just as long as you can uh, open it up we can change the sample type and the destination format um, there's a couple ways to do it um, I'm gonna do it manually the first time and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a what they call a batch conversion which means that you can do a bunch of files <clears throat> convert a bunch of files all at once so here's the first one uh, this is you rask with you Alright, so as you can see, we got the left channel and the right channel. So, to make a radio station in Fallout, you have to you have to make the sample or the audio file mono. The reason being is because if you have it stereo, it'll play this side first and then this side, effectively playing the song twice in a row. Alright, so to do this in this program you're gonna to go to edit convert sample type and you're gonna to want to change it. you're gonna to want to make sure the sampling rate is 44 1 and then right here you got channels you're gonna select mono in the channels little box here and then the bit depth is going to be 16 um, <clears throat> if you want you can even uh, save a little preset uh, you know for for this particular setting call it mono 44 16 so that's mono 44,100 kilohertz sampling rate 16 bit all right so then you just click OK and then there we have our mono wave ready to be uh, actually this is still an mp3 so we're going to change we're gonna to have to save it as a wave alright just go to save as and then you have this drop down right here save as type and we're gonna to go to Windows PCM wave alright there's options in here uh, for other wave uh, for other file types <clears throat> but we're not gonna worry about that for now we just want to save it as a wave all right, so go ahead and save that, and this wave is ready to go. Now, <clears throat> for the rest of them, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Batch Processing under File, and we're going to go ahead and add these files that we haven't uh, converted to uh, 44.1 16-bit and mono. So we're going to get this one. And we're going to get, let's just get all these that we didn't get a while ago. Alright, so we'll add those. And then we're going to go to resample, which is the third tab. And you can create scripts and stuff. That's what I love about this program. You can create scripts to run on certain files or whatever if you have a specific uh, effects that you want to apply to something 
uh, whatever. Anyways, the third third tab over is resample. And you're going to change the destination format to mono. Actually, you could drop down and, and use the preset we just created, mono 44116. Then you click OK. And then you can actually change the ending format in the batch processing so you don't have to go back and manually do it like we just did a while ago with the first one. So, um, format properties, not a lot to do there. Uh, and then the destination, you can, you can put it in the same folder, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, and you can also overwrite the existing files that you came from, but I'm not going to do that this time. Uh, there's little options here that you can use, like uh, delete source file if the conversion uh, goes through OK, or remove the source file from the list if converted OK. But I'm just going to put them in the same folder uh, because we are going to a new destination format. I'm going to go ahead and keep my MP3s in case I need them for whatever reason. So now I'm going to go ahead and click Run Batch, and this will prepare all of the audio uh, to be used in the radio station. I'm just gonna have to and that happens sometimes with this program sometimes it doesn't want to run the batch programs so in that case we just do it manually <clears throat> I would use the shortcuts but uh, they interfere with my hypercam so 44116. Let's see if this one is. 44116. This one needs it. Alright, so. Where are we at? For example type, 44116. There we go. That one's good. There we go. 44116. it again this is basically what the batch processing is supposed to do sometimes it doesn't work it's been working for me pretty good lately but uh, sometimes it just has an attitude problem usually when you're using mp3s all right and I know this is mono but let's just make sure that we're in that we have the right sampling rate and bit rate okay now we just have to save them as we just have to save them as waves. All right, so save as PCM wave. There we go. Save as PCM wave. Save this PC and wave. Uh, save as PC and wave. I really wish that batch processing would have worked because it's a very quick and easy way to convert all of your files without having to do this. But it's really not that big a deal if you have to do this. I mean, it doesn't take very long. I mean, I'm almost done. Almost got all of them converted back to wave format. All right, so there they are. They're all converted back to wave format, and we're done formatting our uh, our waves to be used in the GEC for the radio that we're going to create. So that's uh, part one, and uh, next we'll open up the GEC and start adding these into the playlist.